Can pet food groom your dog's overall health? You bet it can. And today I'm gonna walk you through my experience of trying Ollie Fresh Pet Food with my two dogs, Gus and Little Gus, who both eat strictly a raw diet. I will show you how they transitioned from raw food, from their food, to Ollie. If they liked the food, how easy you can set up your pet's profile on Ollie's website, design your pet's personal food plan, and set up a delivery to customize your pet's food so Ollie can prepare it fresh and send it to your door within days of your order. Free shipping. And how much it will cost you to have a food plan specifically formulated for your pet's age, weight, and activity level. And of course, we are going to unbox my dog's Ollie pet food together. But before we dive into all that, let me explain what inspired me to create this experience for you and your pet and why it is important to understand what your pet needs you to put in their food bowl. Without a doubt, we as pet owners want to provide the best for our beloved pets, such as fulfilling all their grooming needs, regular checkups at the vet, spoiling them with love, playtime, lots of toys and treats to keep them happy. We know our dogs depend on us to provide leadership, care, and most importantly, food. But have we been misguided by the pet food industry? Food is the sole source of survival for both us and our pets. What we put in our pet's feeding bowl is intended to help them maintain a healthy existence and set them up for longevity as they move through the upcoming stages of their lives. But the truth is, what we choose to feed our pets has the power to either heal or harm our pets over time. So where do we turn and who do we trust to provide our pets a nutritionally, biologically appropriate, moisture-rich, balanced diet? For decades, our grocery stores stocked their shelves with many pet food brands that promised to deliver food for our furry friends. But with health issues on the rise with dogs and cats, we are forced to take a closer look at the labels and ingredients that make up the food that we choose to feed our pets. By studying these labels, we have learned that our highly recommended pet foods contain large amounts of carbohydrates, sugars, byproducts that our pets are not designed to digest, let alone thrive upon. Fortunately, there are other better options. Thank you for joining me today. I am certified professional pet groomer Amy Lee and it is absolutely my pleasure to share with you the secrets of the grooming industry so you can provide quality care for your pets at home. As a pet groomer, I understand the important role food plays in producing healthy skin and coat as well as the effects a poor diet has on our pets. Over the years, I have noticed many skin issues, infections, and sudden life-threatening health changes that seem to surface out of nowhere in reference to the pet clients I serve. This question to the pet parent is, what are you feeding your dog? Often the answer is, depends on what pet food's on sale and lots of treats. After years of unexpected illnesses and sudden deaths of the pets I groom, I decided I wanted to know more about how nutrition plays a part in the health of our pets. Not just nourishing their health internally, but seeing the effects a balanced food plan can have on their skin and coat. My main focus is on the skin and coat when working with pets in my salon, but as a pet owner myself, I understand simply satisfying the grooming needs of our dogs and cats is not enough to hoard off underlying elements waiting to surface through their skin and compromise their well-being. This means it all starts with a well-balanced, healthy, species-appropriate diet. And that's why I created this video for you today. What do I feed my dogs? I feed my dogs a raw diet. And I know that that is the best choice to support optimal health for my babies. The immense commitment and sacrifice that comes along with raw feeding may not always be attainable for all pet owners, but I want you to recognize a comparable option that could boost your pet's health and improve their life in many ways, Ollie Pet Food. Ollie is not sponsoring this video. However, I did sign up to partner with the company as an affiliate. I was accepted and approved into their merchant program, which means I will get a commission of the sale if you choose to purchase Ollie Pet Food 
through my provided link. This is also a way for you to support my YouTube channel and I appreciate that. You know me guys, you know I will only partner with companies that produce quality products that are guaranteed to add value to your pet's lives. If you would like to try Ali Fresh pet food for your pet, click on my affiliate link in the description of this video and enjoy 50% off your first box of Ali pet food. Let me tell you a little bit about Ali pet food. Ali pet food consists of minimally processed whole foods to preserve the nutrients. Human grade ingredients, no artificial flavors or preservatives added, and no fillers. In other words, by not over processing, nutrient retention remains in the food. Instead of, like most pet foods on the market, the nutrients are cooked out because of overcooking at high temperatures. Human grade means instead of using the FDA and AFCO guidelines for the ingredients going into the food, into Ali Pet Food, they choose to use the FDA guidelines for what is acceptable to go into human food. It is FDA approved, not FDA and AFCO approved. AFCO is for pet foods, which is a lot of waste is what goes into making pet food. Ali Pet Food does not add artificial flavors or preservatives, which are synthetic additives often combined in pet food to enhance the smell, flavor, and authenticity of the food itself, which also eliminates toxic fillers that can compromise your pet's health by not adding this into their food. Let me show you how simple it is to order Ollie pet food and set up your pet's personal profile and food plan. Click the link below and go to myolly.com. Click dig in and start setting up your dog's personal profile and food plan. It's such a quick and easy process, guys, and it is definitely tailored to your pet's needs. The information you enter here in your pet's profile is going to tell Ollie what type of food plan would be best for your dog. It is so easy, guys. And these questions are very relevant to determine how many calories your pet's meal should be and what is the best protein source for your dog's meal. Now you can review the plan that Ollie has put together for your pet and make changes. And not everybody can afford to feed their dog strictly Ollie, but remember some whole food is better than none. So you can choose to partially feed your dog Ollie with kibble. You have four protein options to choose from. Let's take a look at them. Take a look at the beef. I chose this for big guests, but you can mix and match. You can have some turkey, some beef, some lamb, and some chicken. But I chose the beef because I know Gus does well on it and it has a lot of protein. He's a golden doodle and he has a lot of energy. The lamb has the highest caloric value of all four. It also has the highest protein amount in the food. Actually, it has the same protein amount as the chicken, but it has a higher calorie level. And the nice thing about this is, guys, is that you can mix Mix and match your plan so your dog's not always eating the same protein source. Another nice benefit is that Ollie will refund your money if your dog is not 100% satisfied. Now the turkey recipe I personally like for my bulldog Little Gus. It is mediocre in calories so it's a little bit low cal but it's high in protein. So I like this choice for Little Gus. His activity level is not as high as my Golden Doodle Gus. And the chicken is another great choice for a lower activity level dog or a dog in, in the winter that just isn't getting the activity that he would prefer to get. It's still very high in protein. Um, it's just the calories are a little lower, but still I would mix and match guys. Most dogs are very tolerant to chicken. And then we review our order summary. We can always add another pet if we need to. We can make changes. You can always go back and edit, but remember you're going to get 50% off of your first order. So definitely click the link below if you're interested guys. So in this case, two weeks supply of Ollie pet food for my golden doodle Gus who is 65 pounds at 50% off is $61.66 it would cost me $123.32 without the 50% off so that would be for two weeks $123 but don't forget you can partially feed your dog Ollie and you can set that up in their profile you don't have to feed 100% Ollie now let's unbox Gus and little Gus's Ollie pet food. All right, guys, we got our Ollie box. This is Gus and Gus. They're already eating a raw diet. I was excited when I learned about this dog food because I really feel that it's, it's a very good quality and I was excited to 
bring that to my audience on YouTube because I know a lot of people are not able to feed raw. They don't have the time for the commitment. You always knew your dog had good taste, but now you can prove it. Okay, so when we open this up, all our information here, what we ordered, 61 pounds, 28 trays quantity that's in here. Boy, it's really packed. They give you this little Tupperware to store your food in, and obviously this is an easy little scoop with very detailed directions, which we'll be talking about that in a minute after we unbox, defrost, store, and serve your food to your pets. Be careful with the dry ice, because if you touch it, it actually burns. So it's very cold. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about your pet food going bad if it sits out until you get home from work. It's gonna be fine. Well, let's dig in. Now this stuff was pre-packaged for Big Gus, who is a golden doodle and 61 pounds. They make this to size of your dog. What we have in here should be 28. He got the beef recipe, which is freshly cooked, real food for dogs. Heed the cattle call and follow your pup's personalized feeding guidelines to ensure that they get the right amount every time. Every time. Keep frozen, defrost 24 hours before devouring. Finish within four days. So they're saying if you defrost it, give yourself 24 hours to defrost it, the dog should eat it refrigerated within four days. My big Gus is gonna get this twice a day. So he's gonna get two. I would defrost probably six in a shot. He gets one in the morning or one in the evening and then move on. And then as I'm getting to my last two, which is a day's worth of food, I would defrost six more of these, put it in the fridge. These would fit nicely in our freezer. They would be easy to stack in. We don't have a separate freezer. This would just be our, our freezer that's part of our refrigerator. And I can clearly see that we would be able to nicely store this in our freezer. And that is an issue with raw feeding as well. I bought a vacuum sealer to ensure that I'm getting the most space of my food that I prepare and I grind for my dog so that I can actually freeze it and I don't have to be grinding food more than once a month. I'm very excited to see how the dogs are going to do on this. I'm gonna get it all out here and we're gonna take a look at all this food. This is 14 days worth of food because this is two servings per day. And the next thing we're going to show you is the dogs devouring it. <laughs> All the packaging that Ollie uses is also biodegradable and recyclable. Let me show you how easy it is to store your Ollie pet food. Now, I don't have a separate freezer. This is our home freezer, and there's still plenty of room in our freezer for our food. Now let me show you how to serve it up to your dogs. Find out what my guys think of this stuff. I typically defrost about four days worth of food for each dog. So that would be eight packs per dog. And Ollie gives us this food storage container and serving spoon that is nice to keep it in the fridge. But remember, these are pre-packed servings measured out for each one of your dog's feeding, which I really like because I don't have to worry about overfeeding my dog. They're getting just the right amount of food. Obesity in dogs is on the rise, shortening the lifespan of our beloved pets as well as diminishing their quality of life. The amount of sugar in pet food is a silent killer, guys and Ollie has us covered there. Now when we're ready to put it back in the fridge, we peel the label off and stick it on the storage container so we know what's in there. Brilliant. Okay, boys, let's eat. Now it's no surprise to me that my bulldog, Little Gus, just gulps this down. He loves to eat, but my golden doodle is a very picky eater, very picky, and he loves the Ollie pet food. As a raw feeder, I'm used to watching my dogs very closely with how they do with the food they're eating, what their bathroom habits are like, and I didn't see any issues with the Ollie pet food transitioning from raw food. So I feel very good about that. And obviously my dogs cleaned their bowls. That told me a lot too. So what's it like to transition your dogs onto Ollie pet food? Let's say if you're serving kibble to your dog, how would you transition them? Let me explain that to you. 
Most dogs will just want to gobble down the Ollie food immediately, but please take it slowly. You want to gradually increase the amount of Ollie into your pup's current food, especially if your dog is transitioning from kibble. Because you have to remember, your dog was not designed to eat a low moisture, high carbohydrate, low protein diet, which is the opposite of Ollie. Give your dog about 10 days to allow them to adjust, their stomach to adjust to the new diet. And what it was like for me to transition transition my raw feeders who ate raw food, raw fresh whole foods to Ali fresh food. Because Ali is like raw food in the sense that it is fresh food, fresh whole food. I decided not to transition my dogs at all guys. I went straight from raw right to Ali in my dog's food bowls just to see if this stuff was as good as it sounds like it should be. And my guys had no problems transitioning from raw diet to Ollie Fresh Pet. They had no problems with their stomach, no upset stomach, no messy bowel movements. Everything seemed to be normal when I switched them to Ollie, which tells me that Ollie is closer to the diet my dogs are designed to eat versus kibble. Dogs are not designed to eat a moisture deprived, high carbohydrate diet. Now here's a question you may be waiting for. Would I switch my dogs to Ollie from raw or continue to feed them raw? But here, here's what I'm really gonna tell you. What's the price difference between feeding raw and feeding Ollie Fresh Pet? Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. In my opinion, the best diet for a dog, for a canine, for our pet, dogs, is the raw diet, but it has to be done right. It has to be balanced. It has to have the right amount of bone, the right amount of organ meat. There is so much work and effort put into feeding your dogs raw, but it's worth it. It's the best choice. However, it's expensive, it's time consuming, you're running around gathering the right ingredients, and it has to be right, guys. It's stressful, but I feel good knowing that I'm doing this, and without the support of my mom and my husband, I couldn't do this. We do it as a team. So I can honestly tell you guys, if it weren't for my investment that I have in raw feeding, obviously I bought a grinder, you saw that. I would definitely go with Ollie Pet Food. I am really feeling good about this stuff. Now the second part of this question is, how does Ollie compare to feeding raw? Raw food is very expensive. Honestly guys, I did the math at times, depending on how I can purchase the, the meat, especially, raw feeding is more than feeding Ollie. So not always, but at times, depends on the prices I can get for the raw food. My advice is take advantage of the 50% off your first purchase, guys. And if that is one month's worth of food, that's 50% off. Give it a shot. Why would somebody want to feed their pet Ollie pet food instead of kibble or canned food or a raw diet? Let's talk about that. First of all, I just want to say kibble is off the table. It is not an option. I will never feed my dog kibble again. I know way too much about it. It's full of sugar. It causes dogs to have diabetes. It is just nothing but leftover parts and byproducts cooked down to nothing. There's no nutrients. It is not moisture dense. It is very unhealthy for our dogs. And in my opinion, it has been killing dogs for years. It's not an option. No kibble. So let's take that off the table. Canned food, same thing, low quality ingredients, high amounts of sugar. It's just too many starches, too many carbohydrates. Dogs are not designed to eat that. Cooking for your dog, guys, this is a great option, but if it's not done properly and your dog doesn't get everything that they need for their balanced diet, you could harm your dog. It's not an option that everybody's prepared for, but if you commit to it, it's the next best thing to raw feeding. Raw feeding obviously is the best choice for your dog, but not everybody can do this. It's a commitment, it has to be done right. So what do you do if you can't be a raw feeder, which is the best choice for your dog? I say you either cook for your dog or you feed your dog Ollie Pet Food. Ollie Pet Food has been recognized by Martha Stewart, Good Morning America, Vogue Magazine, Today Show, as well as Forbes Magazine, and Business Insider. Now, I hope we've learned a lot here together about Ollie Pet Food and just feeding your pet in general. What is important to feed your pet? If you have any questions, guys, you can email me. My email's in the description of every video. You can also leave a comment and we can all be part of the discussion here right in the comment 
comment section of this video. Amy Lee, certified professional pet groomer, and it's absolutely my pleasure to share the secrets of the pet grooming industry with you so you can provide quality care for your beloved pets at home. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and be part of this. Be part of this. It's a good thing. Take care, guys.